Okay, Victor. All week long, Help Me Hank has been finding solutions as we deal with supply shortages and those big shipping delays. Now tonight, it's the four critical items you should buy as soon as possible, and they could impact everything from your Thanksgiving dinner to how you deal with winter weather. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester is live tonight. And Hank, what are the items we're talking about here? And Sandra, we want people to start shopping. We want them to do it now. We're here at the Ace Hardware store on Ford Road in Westland. And as you mentioned, those four items, let's get to them right now because some of them may be at your local hardware store. Not the first one, though. This one's going to be at your grocery store. We're talking about Thanksgiving turkeys. Up next, snow shovels. Rock salt, which we all need for the winter as we deal with old man winter in Metro Detroit. And lastly, firewood. Take a look at why these issues are in short supply and how it could affect you and your family. Today at this Home Depot in Detroit, I meet John Ross and his wife, Lily. I wait until the last minute. Yeah. Are you worried they could run out too? I mean, there's yeah, supply that, shortages supply everywhere. Supply shortages on top of that, you know, so get it now while it's available and just put it in the garage. They're not waiting for old man winter to roll into the D. They're stocking up on winter weather supplies right now. That's the only thing enough to get us the salt. We got everything else. We're talking shovels, salt, the basics we need to deal with the snow. But these items in particular could be in short supply very soon this season. If you don't get the salt early, consider sand. It's another good option. No snow shovel? Consider a traditional shovel if absolutely necessary. The shortages have got to be stressful for a business owner. It's killing. Yeah, yeah. It really is because, look, when a customer walks in, they ask you for an item, you don't have it. Here at the Cadillac Hardware Store on the Davison in Detroit, they're getting the winter supplies out now for you. It's getting cold. So we normally, that's, this is the time that we pull everything out. You know, you see our salt is out already. Some of our shovels will be pulling the rest of it probably this weekend. The best advice, and we've said it all week, shop early. Supply chain issues and a lack of drivers to transport goods could have a big impact on getting seasonal items to you. But don't come and buy four, five, six of them when you don't need four, five, or six. But everybody get a chance. That way, again, we're all sharing. We will have it. Another shortage we're anticipating, turkeys. Yes, even your Thanksgiving dinner could be affected. Anywhere between 10 and 16 pounds, there's where the issue is going to start, where you're going to get, if you don't get it right away, within the next week or so, the earlier you get it, better chance you have to get the turkey you want. John is the owner of the very popular Mini Mart Specialty Meat Store in Detroit. So we like to have a piece of prime rib, a turkey, some ribs, a spiral ham, so a little variety. The turkey likes to share the table. His advice, if you can't get the bird you want, add additional food options to the table. And also be prepared to pay more for your turkey and likely all the fixings. What do we anticipate price-wise this year? This year we're looking probably anywhere from 25 to 30 percent, but that's across the board. It's not just turkeys. Yeah. It's everything. Everything that goes with that turkey. The store already busy with people buying their Thanksgiving items, focusing on heavy sides instead of putting all the focus on the turkey itself. We just getting turkey like turkey wings and we'll put them in the dressing. Finally, firewood. Yes, firewood may even be in short supply this year. This all comes down to transportation issues. No drivers, no way to get the wood from the UP or from other areas down here to Metro Detroit. And here at the Ace Hardware on Ford Road, they are ready for winter. They've got the salt, they've got the shovels, they've got everything you need. Of course, though, they can't predict whether there's going to be more product making its way into stores later this year. That's why we've been encouraging you to shop now, shop early. So whether you've caught our stories in the morning, here at 5 o'clock or 11, what we've done this week is we put everything you need to go know regarding supply chain issues and mailing problems all in one place. You can find all our stories right at clickondetroit.com on the Help Me Hank page. We're live here tonight in Westland. Hank Winchester, Help Me Hank, Local 4. Hank, did the uh, story on your homemade stuffing, the recipe, is that, did that air or is that just on the, on the website? Maybe you too, can or? share that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I think it's better for people to go without than eat anything that I've cooked. So that's that's my advice. A lot of good tips, Hank. All right, thanks. Thanks, Hank. <laughs> All right, Bernie's here. We're talking college football. What else? Is, what else to talk about? Well, Hank's Lions, stuffing Lions are recipe? off this week, but they're off most weekends, as you know.